Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 961. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, I'm showing you some new colors of the Ranger alcohol inks. Today, I'm going to be showing you some new colors of alcohol inks. I first wanted to show you that there's new packaging. So it's a brighter uh, packaging with different font up here. This is this gives you some idea of the old packaging. And then this is the new packaging. So you can see the brighter and the new font there. So in this package, I got three new colors, mermaid, teakwood, and indigo. And I'm actually just going to use the two blue colors today. So of course, when you use alcohol inks, you use your applicator with a piece of foam uh, or felt, sorry. Um, these are the same applicators though you can use with the foam for the distress inks. You just change out the foam for the felt. And I am going to squeeze on some color there. Now you don't have to close your lids between um, putting your color on if you're going to be adding more color. I just do it because I have a tendency to possibly do it, spill it, and I don't want the ink everywhere. So I always put my lids back on, but you don't have to. It's not going to evaporate. Just grabbing some blending solution. Okay, so these work great on glossy paper or glass, plastics, anything that you wouldn't normally put ink on. And you just want to pounce it around and rotate it. So you can see how dark that indigo is. So if you wanted more of the lighter color on, you would want to put less of the indigo and more of the mermaid. So I'm just sort of covering up my background. So it's quite dark. So what I'm going to do is add blending solution. So I'm going to put some blending solution onto my felt. Now the great thing with alcohol inks is you can keep working them. Every time you go over it, it's going to change where it is and the look of what you're making. So I might now go on with just some mermaid and see if I can even lighten it a bit more. So you can see again how it's changing once again. So anyway, these two colors I think are really pretty. I love the mermaid and the indigo just adds a really nice uh, color to the background there. Now you can use this straight as a background to a card. I could um, use this as a card background or you can cut it up, which is what I did this time around. So I'm just going to move that aside. So here was my sheet and I had, you can see it was a lot softer and lighter. I used less of the indigo, more of the mermaid, and then some of the uh, blending solution. And I ran this through my scan and cut. I wanted to cut out butterflies. And so I had some were solid butterflies and some have little holes in them and then the little antennas. So by running it through my scan and cut, I ended up with a pile of these little butterflies. So you can see there's the ones with the little holes and then here's some solid. Now these are originally so you would layer them up, but I decided that, so I could have layered it like that and had the texture, but I decided just to make solid butterflies and little butterflies with holes. So you can run it through um, any die cutting machine. It can be a digital machine or it could be an actual manual die cutting machine and use it to make really pretty butterflies or just circles or shapes, whatever you want. And then I made two different cards. I took some backgrounds I had previously made and then just added the butterflies. And you can see how beautiful the, pink, the blue just pops off these pinks. 
here I did a little lineup of butterflies and here I used the enamel accents just to draw the little path of the butterfly and then I stamped using a Lawn Fawn stamp set. So this is another great way to use your alcohol inks to cut up the shape so you have all that beautiful texture just in smaller portions. And that is some new alcohol inks from Ranger. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you some new dyes from Lifestyle Crafts for Albums Made Easy. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.